Bit, 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 bit napping TV. Hi and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is Tino and I'm a bitnapper. Please hold on one second. I have to add another note. Buy a cup of coffee. You know, sometimes you have to add or you have to write down a lot of notes because you forget most of the stuff you have to do. Um, so you can use, of course, the stickies on your Mac, but the problem here is it's only on your Mac and afterwards you leave home and your stickies are on your computer at home and you can't access them. So what a solution for this problem is, of course, Evernote. Evernote is available for Mac Windows and it's also available on portable devices like the iPhone or the iPad and it's also available for Android. It's, it's a, what is it? It's a note storage, let's say it like that. Um, you can add new notes easily on the web and the special thing here, it of course syncs with all devices that are um, logged into the account. So I can add a new title like Bitnapping Show and I can add tags like let's say Bitnapping here and it also remember all tags you have used ever like I can add Bitnapping here and I add a text text so um, I hit on save and close and it saves it to the Evernote account it's really really cool because Evernote is free so you can use it and don't have to pay anything and here's the special thing there's an also an application for the Mac available and if I hit on sync now or let's say it's already synced I get the text here I can edit it I can of course add a new note here too it shows me like new title new note and I can add a few things here and I can tag it again and if I hit bed napping here it's also available because I have used this tag before I can hit sync again and it syncs it, of course, with the web. The next cool thing, it, it has an integrated PDF service. So if you're in an application and you would like to add this information to your note, it's really, really easy because you only have to print it as a PDF. So let's say you have a, an image like this and you would like to add this to your note. Um, you click on File and print and there you got this PDF button where you find save PDF to Evernote. You click it, it adds it instantly to Evernote. You can add now title and of course again a tag for easy searching and you hit sync again. It takes a little bit because it's of course a PDF now and if I open the Evernote web interface it shows me the edit wallpaper of course too. There it is. The next thing that's really really cool so you're going to surf the web let's say and you've got a new information now you have a lot of um, a, a lot of uh, other utilities to save those but a really easy way is also use the Evernote clipper. What you do here you click on the clipper and you add clip screenshot into Evernote now you can drag, uh, you can select the information you would like to add like this, what is bit napping, and you click on OK, and it does exactly the same thing as before. You can add it now to your Evernote on the Mac and you sync it with the web again. Um, this is just one way to do this. There are also other ways um, because there are a lot of other plugins available for different browsers, let's say for the Firefox or for the Google Chrome and uh, for Safari the Clipper is also available um, in Evernote itself. Yeah, that's it uh, for Evernote. It's really really cool. And the last thing I forgot to show you is, this is, I would say this is the most important I would have forgotten, is you can share your um, notebooks with other people. So all you have to do, you have to add a sharing to your notebook and it allows to access other people to your, to your notes. So 
let's say, Bastian and I, we have this bit mapping recording um, notebook, and we can now, uh, I can add a new note, and I can also edit some of the notes we have here. Yeah, that's it on Evernote. And if you like what you see, you can support us by using the Flatter button on our website. Simply search for this tiny little button and click it. Thank you for watching. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.